<sighs> Hi. Um, it's been a minute and we thought we would explain to you why it's been a minute. We don't kind of do very many videos where it's just kind of talking and we feel like with everything that's been going on the past few months, we need to. You can probably tell this is in a very unfamiliar background and it's because I'm in a very different place and this is a whole other story on its own that I'll have to bring to you eventually. To start off with, I feel like it's been very hard for us to stay connected to our audience because we feel like the rest of the world was having such a harder time than we were that none of the issues we were experiencing we felt entitled to talk about or share. Our issues felt so minute in comparison to what the rest of the world was experiencing from COVID to Black Lives Matter. And so we just instead decided to close in and kind of disappeared for a while. And so hopefully this video in the context and understanding that our problems are very nice problems to have, but are still problems that are affecting our videos coming out. And this video is just to communicate with all of our loyal subscribers who are probably wondering where the hell we are and give you an explanation. Where do I start? So to start off with, there are just certain things that have been very difficult for us to um, do. It's been like mission impossible to make videos, to uh, get on the same page with each other and agree on what we should be making. And we actually ended up sitting down much more often and having conversations about the future. Discussing, like how do we take Yes Theory to the next level? And it's required us to sit down and discuss and figure out how do we set things up in a way that allow us to actually expand beyond making videos? And that doesn't mean stopping to make videos by any means, but it just means how do we rethink our process to make sure that it's aligned with where we actually wanna be in five years. The reality is we actually did try to film a lot. I tried to organize a drive-in graduation uh, for four amazing subscribers that would come and we would celebrate them with commencement speakers. We had this whole idea of how we'd pull this off. And then a week before we get a message from LA County saying that specifically organizing any kind of driving graduation will be considered a public gathering and is thus not allowed. So that episode got scratched. Then I was super excited because out in nature, there was this treasure, $2 million worth of treasure in the middle of Montana. I saw it as the ultimate outdoors adventure and it would kind of just follow this childlike excitement for like a, a treasure map and a treasure hunt. And it's an amazing story. If you haven't looked into it, the name of the treasure is Forest Fence Treasure. And literally the week before going, after 10 years of this treasure not being found, somebody found it. If I can describe to you my dreams being crushed, this was about the sixth episode or so being canceled. And it was the most demoralized <laughs> I'd felt in a very long time because I, I just felt like I had tried and I had tried and I had tried and I had pushed myself to try and stay positive, to try and stay hopeful. And I also just felt like even the idea of having fun right now felt like an extreme privilege that I couldn't almost reconcile. When the Black Lives Matter issues kind of reached a boiling point the past couple of months, I just realized there was so much that I didn't know. I, I was privileged again to go to an international school in, in France. And so I was constantly surrounded by people from all over the world. I was actually very lucky to be around a bunch of very open-minded people. And then obviously the past few months, I just decided to really dive deep to understand there were so many things that I was taking for granted on a daily basis that black people in America don't have. And I'm not trying to have like a guilt moment here or anyone have empathy for my situation, but it just led me to a point of like, how can I be brainstorming about like a treasure map right now? Like everything felt so trivial when the rest of the world, it, it was suffering. It is suffering. I think for all of us, it just became really difficult to get on the same page and figure out what do we make? And a lot of questions that came up for us during this time were centered around our direction. Where do we want to go over the next five years? What's the impact that we want to have on the world? How do we continue coming up with ideas for YouTube that inspire and excite us and keep the audience interested? How do we deliver on the promise that Yes Theory is supposed to become more than a YouTube channel? How do we create an app that allows all of you to connect and go out in the world and seek discomfort? How do we organize and facilitate events around the world for all of you to meet and interact? There are so many different ideas that we have. We have just struggled with getting out of our own way to execute. And these are the kinds of questions that we'll continue to dig deeper on. 
And so we're now trying to approach the next half of this year with patience, but also with urgency when it comes to uh, following through with our promise to ourselves and to you. So we're grateful that you're here. And now I wanna move on to the rest of the video because the conclusion of this video is not negative, it is positive because there is an immense amount of amazing things that we have done the past few months that have not yet seen the light of day. But there's also a whole bunch of incredible things coming up in the future that I want to briefly mention to you so that you can get excited as I am in this moment. First of all, Mar has been working the past couple of months with actually Burning Boat that we helped in a previous episode on one of the most meaningful videos that he's ever made and I'm so excited for you to see that project. Our editors, Tommy and Cam, have started their own cooking show called The Greatest Cooking Show in History. A lot of humility in that title, but I hope that you go check out the second channel and subscribe because those episodes will be coming out very soon. In January, there's a few episodes that we filmed that were never released, including going to Brazil and helping one of our subscribers get his dream job. And even though I was kind of giving us a hard time on not really having expanded past Yes Theory being a YouTube channel, we have been expanding. We've launched a TikTok. We launched our second channel. We are coming out with a podcast very soon. Matt is dedicating more and more of his time and attention to our newsletter, which if you haven't subscribed to, by the way, check the description below. And so, you know, we're now looking at the second half of 2020, wondering what now? How do we reconnect with our joy for filmmaking? How do we reconnect with our audience that we feel like we've kind of lost touch with, honestly, over the past six months. How do we balance our time? All of these questions might seem so boring, and, and that's honestly why we haven't shared really what's been going on. And I hope that by sharing this, for any of you who've been feeling stuck the past few months, just know that it's okay. And I hope that as a group and as a community, we can support each other. If you have found a way to stay positive amongst all of the challenging things happening around us in this world, I would also love for you to share those in the comments. If you've made it all the way to this point in the video, I, I am truly grateful that you're here. And we hope that we can become a source of positivity once again in your life. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm grateful that you've made it so far in this video. And I hope that I'll see you in the comments. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. We'll see you soon.